controversy surrounding several high-profile politicians in Virginia, including the governor, is spilling down to the Tar Heel state. Yearbooks from two universities, including Chapel Hill, are making headlines, all for the wrong reasons. CBS 17's Zach Dahlheimer in Chapel Hill tonight with the photos and reaction from students. And Zach, not a good look. Yeah, Marius, that's the consensus here. I want to show you this. This is one of the photos that was printed in the yearbook 40 years ago. We're told that the yearbook is designed and created by students. And today's students and the university's new chancellor are weighing in on this. Certainly upsetting. UNC senior Annie Simpson is referring to photos she saw on Twitter. I just can't imagine how anybody would ever think that that sort of behavior is okay. These pages from a 1979 UNC student yearbook. This photo shows two people dressed in white robes and hats and another in blackface being led around by a rope around their neck. What would be going through your mind when you would want to celebrate that sort of imagery and put it in a yearbook? There's a number of things about our past that we need to understand and deal with. That's a horrific part of our past. At his introductory news conference, UNC Chapel Hill Interim Chancellor Dr. Kevin Guskowitz says he became aware of the photos Wednesday night. I don't believe that that reflects what our university uh, is about today, nor could I believe that it uh, represents what it was about uh, back in uh, 1979. It appears that it was very funny to them. In fact, the, one of them smiling in the photo but I, I just think it's terrible. UNC junior Chris Latimer is seeing the photos for the first time. Well, I'm not too surprised to see the photos at all, um, given time period differences, but I am surprised to see they made it into a yearbook. There's absolutely no position for something like blackface in contemporary society. Students like Latimer would like to have a conversation. I do think it is good that we have the conversation and rhetoric around the change of mind frames to ensure that people understand that actions like that are offensive and harmful for individuals who are portrayed. As they continue moving forward, Now, in a statement on Twitter, the national chapter for Chi Phi, the fraternity featured in these pages, said, quote, we strongly denounce the behavior and sentiments displayed in these images. Bigotry is not welcome in our fraternity. Now, we also reached out to the local Chi Phi chapter here at UNC. They told us they have no comment. Live in Chapel Hill, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.